Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> Could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis? I am a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Shepard. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. 
Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Hmm. I'm afraid you'll need to convince me. Hmm. A compelling argument. This is a crazy life, isn't it? Yes, it is, Shepard. Yes, it is. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Don't mind if I do? Engineer. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after ten more of these. Booze and Krogan. This should get fun in a hurry. I've never seen a Krogan drunk before. Like, really drunk. They're just as ugly and twice as loud. I'm kidding. Shit. You all need to lighten up. No shit. It's not like we haven't earned a little R&R. &R. Bet we have, James. Here's to taking a damn break.
I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or purchased a time machine, so I mean. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Do you still have your toothbrush? No worries. I'm sure Cerberus would be happy to build us the SR-3. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Indeed. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to squeaking in 50,000 years later. Wow. This is quite the apartment. Seriously. You see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. Good call. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs>